Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a bonus reading for Taurus men. So Spirit uh, told me this was going to be for the Taurus men. Uh, sorry, ladies. Um, nevertheless, it could resonate with you. We all have masculine energy within us. Okay. So please take the resonance, leave the rest. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Um, please keep in mind everything is subject to free will, your free will, and anyone you are or anything you are energetically connected to currently in the past or in the future. Also, please keep in mind everything is subject to the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect. Okay, so Taurus men. I don't know. Spirit wanted to say something for y'all. Okay. Spirit, can you please show me Taurus men, please? Taurus men, please. Change. So you might be moving or trying to change, moving to a new place possibly. Main male. Now this, you could be trying to change into someone's main male here. Or trying to change the situation for someone. Occupation. Okay. You're trying to change jobs. You might be with an older woman. Possibly. What's the relationship between change and mean male? What's the relationship between there? Marriage. You might be marrying somebody. Trying to find work here. What's the relationship between main male and occupation? Maybe you want to change jobs or maybe you want to get married. Courtship though. But you also still have people on the side here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I'll see why. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the relationship between marriage and courtship? Because here we have you are either married or you're about to get married, but yet you're still trying to, you're trying to date somebody on the side. Mm -mm -mm. Courtship and marriage, please. Or marriage and courtship. Yeah. Toil and labor. It's a lot of work. To keep these things separate from each other. You might be waiting on some type of official documents. Maybe you're trying to get a divorce or trying to get a house. Um, but yet you're still keeping people on the sidelines. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to use this deck. Hold on. One second. Show me this. Uh, spread it out. One second. Can you please show me change? What's, what's change about? Why is change here? Stork, you're trying to move homes or ladies, you're trying to, uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer energy. You're trying to change a Cancer. Mm -mm. Show me my mail. You're trying to change them. Star. They could also have Aquarius in their chart. You're trying to give them all their hopes and dreams here. You're trying to change the past. You have hopes for this. What's occupation about? Lilies. Uh, King of Swords here, Aquari more Aquarius energy, but also Libra and Gemini. You're trying to rise the ladders here, or yeah, you're trying to rise in the ladder of success. You feel like marriage is going to do it for you, but yet, why are you keeping a side, a side relationship quiet, but from your partner, your fiance or partner? Yeah, we got secrets book at the bottom of the deck, also secret money. The way you're making money. Show me marriage. The writer. Yeah. We have the nine of cups here. This is what you wish for. But this talks about overindulgences. You are you are overindulging somebody because you have a pretensity to want to save people. You have a, you have a savior complex. But yet you're still keeping a relationship private on the side. Possibly through work. Show me courtship, please. Yeah, coffin. You want to put it into that, but with the Nine of Pentacles here, you also want to be single at the same time. Maybe you want to put it into that. But you don't feel like you are. What What is the toy on labor here about? Okay, love. Love is a battlefield. It's hard. Someone else, someone that you're with still has love for their partner in the past. You're very codependent with the mice here. There's deceptive communication as well that will be coming to light about you 
the sort of truth or about your person that this person still has love for somebody else, possibly a Scorpio. Someone's still in love with a Scorpio or a Leo and they're lying to you about it or you are still in love with a Scorpio or a Leo and you're lying to your person about that. Let's see. Any else, anything else, please, for my Taurus men. Now, remember, ladies, this could possibly be, okay, you can't, we all have masculine feminine energy within us. Okay, anything else, please, for my Tauruses? Taurus men, please. Yep, we have the Nine of Pentacles reverse. You have a fear of abandonment from this person, this Cancer energy, or Pisces. Yeah, you're not stable on your own feet, neither are they. <laughs> There's games being played behind your back with money, um, secret uh, communications with somebody else behind your back, or that you're doing this behind someone else's back. There's secret dealings. Yeah. Two of Pentacles reverse. You're very much the non-committal type. You still want to have your open relationship. Two of Swords, you're very indecisive about what it is that you actually want. Indecision is a decision, yeah. We also have the sun here. You're very unhappy or trying to keep things hidden from this person, this marriage card or this uh, fiance, five of wands reverse. You, you're keeping hidden competition from your partner. The yep, ace of wands reverse. You feel rejected or you will be rejecting them in the end because you don't really want that. You don't want commitment. Not really. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. You really don't have love for them or they don't really have love for you. It'll end in a breakup or divorce here. Someone secretly knows the truth about you. This person, this 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 can't this water entered this cancer, this Pisces also could be a Scorpio. Somebody here knows the truth about you. They know that you're keeping something from them. Anything else, please? Temperance. You need. There's a lot of things that need to be balanced out and healed within you, and I don't think like I don't. It doesn't feel like, and I don't think that you really want to heal. You have a savior complex. Whomever this Taurus man or men reading for, you have a very strong savior complex. Anything else, please? Last messages. Loss of money. There's fights and conflicts and manipulation around money. Four of Swords. Dark-haired woman. You'll be retreating from a dark-haired woman or trying to, or they'll be trying to retreat from you because someone there's there, someone's going to see a hidden manipulation that you've been doing. Yeah, Ten of Wands. You're keeping trying to keep secrets from this person successfully. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you're trying to consult maybe a, a psychic here, but you have other parties involved here. Anything else, please? Yep, you have other the sweet card. You have love elsewhere for somebody else the, a third party it could be a cancer pisces scorpio outside of this cancer female or this pisces female you oh yeah there's now we have the seven of swords here coral there's a lot there's going to be a major blowout fight because you or your person is keeping secrets and they're deceiving you there's gonna be a major fight about lies and deception also third party interferences as well um, someone's going to act like an infant here, um, Ten of Swords, it's going to be a very, very painful ending. Um, if you were to go through with this wedding or marriage or keep it going while you're keeping something on the side or them, because I feel like you're per, I feel like you are, you don't really love this person. You're just trying to help them out. It's that whole savior complex, that codependency, the fear of abandonment. But I feel like this person also has love for a Leo. Or a Aries or Sagittarius that you don't know about still. Also, they still have love for a Scorpio. Or you do. Tell me about this painful ending, this info, this uh, being, a, being a baby here. So, there's going to be fights about lies and someone's going to show their ass out. Yeah, protector. There's a, a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius or Aries. This is going to come in and steal this person from you because they, this person actually still wants them. They still want them. They still want this fire sign. Okay, thief. Yeah, someone's lying to you. Someone's going to try to steal money from you as well. Someone's using you for money. And because you have this deep, deep-rooted codependency, you're allowing them to do so. Yep, some money, seven of wands. You need to protect your finances here. Someone isn't who they claim to be. They're not really in love with you. Or you're not really in love with them or both. 
anything else, please. Yeah. You're still communicating with somebody else or someone's someone's still communicating with somebody that they're really in love with. Yeah, you're trying to consult the divine about trying to figure out what you need to do. Yeah, you you have a lot of ego in this. It really bruises your ego if you're going to be rejected. Yeah, there's an enemy of hope. Hope is your enemy is actually against you. Someone you or somebody else is selling a false stream of a wedding or commitment here. This is sorrow and waiting for this to happen. There will be an ending due to some form of depression. So please, um, if you feel that way, please seek help. Um, there needs to be a transformation. Um, someone's going to end something with you and it's going to make you very, very depressed. Mm -hmm. So they really were just using you for finances uh, and money. Also, there could be an end to an illness. So that's good. Let's see. Anything else, please? Last messages and we'll get some oracle. Anything else, please? Yeah, you want to be the Emperor Taurus, Aries energy, but you want to be the husband, but mm -mm. you're putting on a show. You're still going to leave anyways, or they are a cancer energy. This person will end up leaving you and leave you hanging. Yep. In the end. All right, let's see. Any guidance, please, for my Taurus men? you got to heal that needing to save everybody. The wind, fairy, thoughts, words, intellectual analysis. Look at things from a different, deeper perspective, a higher perspective. Anything else, please? For my Taurus men. See the risk that you're taking. Which road do you take? You don't really want this with this person like that. They don't really want it with you. They want it with somebody else. Um, yeah, disruption. Yep, third party disruption. You are. You either have a third party, or they do, or maybe both of you do. And whatever you're doing, as far as a marriage or engagement or something like that, there's it's a ruse. It's a lie. What is the lie? Show me more about the lies. The Taurus men. Show me the lies. The butterfly beauty. Seven. Beauty is a lie. Or behind a beautiful face is nothing but a lie. With this person. With this cancer energy or Pisces. Okay. The hawk. Omens and messages. You need to understand movement. Someone's going to end up leaving you anyways. Physical health grounding foundations. Yeah. It's a burden. Because they feel like you're a burden. Or you feel like they're a burden. Take it for what it is or leave it, okay? All right, uh, Taurus man, I hope this helps you. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you again for all your support of the channel. Um, Taurus ladies, next time, okay? But I felt really called, um, spirit called for Taurus men this time for whatever reason. So please take care of yourself, okay? Until next time, bye.